Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic in our 12 topic series of how to come out of the world is you are the church. We are going to churches that are buildings, that are made out of stone, but we forget that we are the church, not that building. It is not important to sit in a building or in a bench that we, in a place that we call a church. The church is a living organism. We are all the church. So I'm telling you right now, be the church and come out of these buildings that the people have misused for their power agendas and for their doctrines and for their human agendas. Come out of them, come out of the lukewarm churches, out of these buildings. You are the church, be the church, live the church and place the church in your home. We have to come back to the book of Acts where there were only home churches. Build a dwelling place of Zion, a church in your home. No need of church benches, no need of, of great and golden statues and anything like that. Build a dwelling place of Zion in your home. Be the church with spirit and truth and power and the glory of the Father. Spread the true word, the word that is written, not the word that was invented by the people to make it a doctrine so that they can fit their agenda of either prosperity gospel or poverty gospel. Nothing like that. Be the church. People, come forth now. When you come out of the world, where will you go? You will go to your own home church. You will build your own home church. You will establish a dwelling place of Zion in your house. Or if you have a place around in your neighborhood, you can do the same. Doesn't have to be anything big. Has not our Lord and Savior said, where two or three are together in my name, I will be with them. And that is the church. That is what is called in Greek ecclesia. And that is what is called an assembly of love and righteousness. People come together in home churches with, with zeal and full of fire for the Lord. And then they come together, they empower oneself with the word and with the Holy Spirit. And then they go out into the neighborhoods to lift up the needy, the nameless and faceless, look for the children, for the suffering, and be setting a great example for the Lord, becoming closer and closer to Jesus Christ. And people will see that light, that great light that will come from these home churches. It will be seen. And these people will be drawn to that light, like moths are drawn to the light. And they will be drawn to it and they will come, can we join, can we also take part in your dwelling place of Zion, in your home church? And you will invite them in and if you have more than 50 people, then you establish another one in the next house and another one in the next house and it will grow and the lights will be, be placed in all the nations all over the world. This is what you will do when you come out of the world. You will have nothing to do anymore with the world. You will concentrate fully on the power and the glory of heaven in your home churches. Be the church. You are the church. You are the one. In your, the Lord is in your heart. The Father, God Almighty, is in your heart. And you have the soul of heaven. So you are part of heaven and as part of heaven you must let your light shine and you do that through a dwelling place of Zion, your home church, in your place. Can be an apartment, can be a house, can be a place in your neighborhood. But bring the people together. In this house an altar will be established. The altar of love, unity and support. The restoration will be done. The altar will be restored to its former glory. Far away from the lukewarm churches, far away from the church buildings. 
And this powerful altar will then empower you and all the people that are gathered together there to receive the Holy Spirit. And when you have the Holy Spirit, then you will go out into the neighborhood to preach the gospel of the kingdom and no other gospel, no gospel of grace, no gospel of whatever, the gospel of the kingdom. And you will tell them, repent, repent, because the kingdom is at hand. And Jesus is coming soon. And now it's the time to bring in the harvest. And now it's the time to shine forth as the brightest. This is the time to shine forth as the brightest because the world is going into darkness. And now you will step forward and you will be illuminated like a great fire. And you will build that church and you will bring the people together because you are the church. You are the assemblies. You are the ecclesia. You are the ones like in the book of Acts. And you come together and you bring people unto the new altar of love, unity and support. And this is where you will go when you come out of the world and out of Babylon. People ask, have asked me, where do we go when we come out of the world and out of the churches? What do we do? You are the church. You build one. You build that dwelling place of Zion. Everybody can do that. Pray to the Lord. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in and he will show you and he will create a great fire in your house and people will be drawn to it and the Holy Spirit will send people that will knock at your door can we join and, and you will build a great congregation and with this people that you will train teach and empower then you will go out into the neighborhoods to win souls 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 because that is your destiny to win the souls and not to work for money in a beast system your destiny as a true Christian and a true son and daughter of the Most High is to win souls and to bring in the harvest and to bring in the wheat into the barn. Now it's your time to step forward. Come out of the world and out of Babylon and establish a dwelling place of Zion in your house right now. Pray over it. Ask the Lord that the Holy Spirit will fall on you and that you will build it. The Lord wants to see your light, and your light must be shined for all to see, so that the Lord can then guide the people to you, and that more and more places like this will be established in your neighborhoods and in the world. And that's the reason why Triple Grace is asking you to help, so that we can establish such places also in, in areas where the people are poor. They need our help financially too. So, what is written in the Book of Acts? How did the people act at that time? How? When they have established their home churches, what did they do? They shared resources. And in which way? They sold excess. They had a plot, they had a house extra, they had what, something extra. They had, in, in our days now, maybe the, there were two cars, one car will be sold, and the money will be given for the spreading of the gospel of the kingdom. And for what? for the establishment of the dwelling places of Zion, for the establishment of new home churches, especially in areas where the people are poor and cannot afford anything like Bibles, equipment or whatever it is required. Now it's your time to share your resources. Now it's your time to come together in love, unity and support. This is the time. Step forward now, come out of the world in Babylon and show that you have fire in your heart, that the Lord is in your heart, that the Father, Abba Father is in your heart, and that the Holy Spirit will sit on top of you. In the same way as the Apostles, speak out boldly for the kingdom, because the kingdom is at hand. Repent, repent, and walk in obedience to the Lord. Become more Christ-like. Become a true copy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What I want to see is, I want to see you looking like Jesus. I want to see you walking like Jesus, and I want to see you acting like Jesus. That is exactly what we from Triple Grace want for all of our brothers and sisters. Walk as Jesus did, talk as Jesus did, and act as Jesus did. And then a great harvest will follow. A great revival will come in. But only for this people, only for this people who are the church, only for this home churches, and only for this dwelling places of Zion, the rest of the world will fall into darkness. Now you know what to do. Pray over it and start. If you have any more questions, how to 
establish a home church or a dwelling place of Zion in your house, send me an, an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and I will help you step by step. I am here for you. Go forth now. Win souls. Let us regain back the world from the enemy. It's our time to step forward. Be blessed, brothers and sisters, in the name of the Lord. Have a great day. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.